So firstly we inspect these parts which, which actually contain a lot of borders and background colors. So we will cancel all of this effect, it's uh, 438. And simply remove every single line is here. Then cancel this, this and this. Then what else? What we have to there's some sort of text or box shadow for this part. And okay, so product attribute clear, fix, and there we go. This is the box shadow that we don't need it for instance. Uh, so it, okay, so it's overridden by somewhere else or somewhere somewhere else. It's uh, line 422. Okay, let's box shadow remove it. Then uh, okay, I guess we need also to remove the padding to have uh, all the data, all the content on the same line. So this will be zero. Okay, two. Or we'll just remove it. Zero. And what else? What else? So normally everything is in place except that we need to change the style. Now time for the button for the added, which is um actually um a button that call an AJAX request. So if you go to the network bot and just click there, you will see that there is a request that will go or that will be processed on this part. So let's create this for instance and boom. There we go. So this is a brand and it sends data to another page through XHR and we have a result and our product is inserted into the cart. Alright, anyway, this is not the purpose of our series right now. Let's go back to the CSS and the designing. We need to inspect this button and change how does it look like. So for instance, we have a lot of a useless, a useless uh, style for us. So first of all, we need to remove all the padding that uh, this button is associated with. Uh, so it's right line 842, 842, uh, oops, it's product.css, 842, 842, I don't see any of that. We may, maybe we need to search for the text, there you go, so let's show numbers. Actually, it's not 842. Anyway, then, uh, okay, this should be zero. And what is next? We need to, okay, move a bit down to the bottom element, then uh, remove all the background, I guess. Actually, we have a specific background color for this one. And again, with less sources that we have, but anyway, let's deal with this. Let's just Pick the color, which is this code of color, then the bottom and four and the borders we get rid of all this actually, then uh, looking for background and paste this code. Oops. And there we go. So we'll go to line four four eight. Okay, again, this is misleading. Please be right this time. Six, five, one. All right, let's remove all the background and the filters and just insert this background line. Normally we will be good now. We are not good. Side button. I think it's a cache again. Because I did change all that line. Oh man. So I'll do something not really useful, but make it will uh, cause a, a slowness in loading, which is disabling the cache and force the compilation each time I refresh the page. So uh, maybe the tutorial will be much longer this time, you know. Okay. Good. Okay, as you see, it's taking time, more time. 
because it's we're compiling everything so as I thought it's okay then we need to change the hover effect okay okay button this is <coughs> sorry so this is the hover and I may need to remove everything that's related to this hover okay mm, I may insert another effect later but I will not do it for the time being seven six seven five six oops oh, my computer does freeze for the second and I will just remove all this junk I don't want any hover effect for the time being then we need to remove this icon okay before that we have we still have uh, borders we still have borders that is annoying me for instance th so it's 651 because 651 and remove all these junky borders border radius no border radius actually actually I think there is no border at all ah we have some border radius from the bottom but from the top no so it will be on border radius let's remove the border actually then border button no border actually same for, so uh, border radius border radius is five pixels is too much I hate border radius that is um, stupidly valued border stop so it will be border bottom or radius border bottom left radius it will be three pixel Let's use that but this time for the right right ra oh sorry right radius it will be again three pixel two uh, okay then position relative and let's leave the rest as it is uh, I don't want to refresh the page for instance because I'd like to finish this then refresh it so six five one six six five and uh, I don't want to have uh, that icon so I only need to put this as a comment maybe I will use this later so that's why I didn't delete it uh, content I will just remove it and added a display none here actually actually hiding the content is enough but you know we're not losing anything so let's refresh now okay we, we we improved the design so you need to go a bit down for the span right now which is containing a lot of um, lot of useless style so again let's remove all these borders 717 oops sorry get away seven where is my editor there is it 717 Okay, again, no borders, bottom or whatsoever, no box shadow, padding, for instance, no font size, again, okay, border radius, no border radius, alright, okay, 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 uh, transition, mm, I don't need that, there is no effect, uh, okay, the color is okay for the white for the time being, then just move these borders, Stack shadow, the padding, and almost everything useless. Uh, display block. Um, there is some padding somewhere. So, uh, okay, okay. So it's taking a yes down. Is there any padding for the bottom element? No. So the span. We have border radius, font size, font size, line height. Okay, let's remove everything here. Just get it in the right okay look at that we have a padding so for instance I removed everything about it <laughs> and let's rebuild it the way we want it 